Rapsholics. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Rich. Today is our second day down here in the Florida Keys and uh, overnight the wind has picked up to like 20 to 25. Therefore a lot of areas I really didn't feel comfortable launching the kayak and getting out and fishing on all day. So we got a little creative, opened up Google Maps and we found a spot that hopefully will be a little bit more isolated from the wind called the Nile Channel, which has some good hard structure like bridges and docks, and then as well as some deeper water and some shallow water up on the flats that all look really promising. So we're gonna explore around some new waters, see what we find and bringing you guys along for the journey. Let's get the kayak ready to go and in the water. I'll see you guys out there. All right, let's get after it. All right, so we're just working our way out of this little canal and uh, in about 50 yards, it's gonna come up and get really shallow and be shallow it looks like for probably a couple hundred yards until the main channel. So we're gonna try and go over that little shallow spot, get to the main channel and uh, troll around this Rapala and I think go a little bit southeastish towards a bridge that's over there. All right, so we're probably about a quarter mile from the bridge. I'm just gonna throw this Rapala out about 10, 15 yards, because it's only about six, seven feet here. Pretty shallow, but should get deeper as we get closer to the structure. And uh, I've never fished this bridge ever before, but I'm gonna assume that uh, what's on the menu is gonna probably be snook tarpon, snappers, jacks, long shot maybe permit and yellowtail and cobia triple tail uh, and if we go up shallow eventually uh, there could be a sh shot at some bonefish and barracuda more snook probably and uh, also more ja um, snappers and uh, i caught a lot of nice snappers yesterday and we got into some tarpon and also i only have a couple granola bars in the kayak today and kind of skipped breakfast because the one breakfast joint that I really like, which is in uh, Big Pine Key near the Wind dixie they weren't open, it's Sunday morning. I went there and I was like, what? How could you not be open on a Sunday morning? So we didn't want to waste too much time like hunting for a good breakfast place. So we just launched the kayak and uh, we're winging it right now. And if we get a nice snapper, I've got uh, my cooler bag with some ice, which I didn't have yesterday. So we might have to throw them in there and then beach the kayak somewhere and cook them up with the little portable burner, which I got in the bow there. All right, well, uh, trolling was kind of futile because of all the weeds and the shallow water. Finally, almost hit eight feet. Oh, just hit eight feet, <laughs> barely for like a half a, like a millisecond. And uh, it's pretty snarky out here in the middle of the channel. So we're gonna start here at the middle of the bridge and I think work to the left. I really like the look of this structure here. That must be the old bridge there. I thought from afar that it was like a fishing platform, but I guess not, which could be good. I mean, there probably is not a whole lot of fishing pressure on this structure besides, you know, some guys that probably roll up in their boats. Oh gosh, fish on. It's pretty heavy. What? What is this? Is it a rock with weeds on it? What is going on? Oh my gosh. I swear we had a bite. Maybe it was like a grouper and then he went uh, into the structure and popped off. And therefore, we got all this gunk on here. Huh, all right, false alarm. Fish on, big fish, oh my gosh, big fish. I have no idea what this is. Uh, 
uh, it might be a tarpon like a giant tarpon oh my gosh i gotta keep this drag loose really loose let him just run and run and run do his thing oh my gosh did you see that Woo! that was so cool that was a giant tarpon oh my gosh 40 pound leader that oh, oh. oh my heart is racing we were totally outgunned for a fish like that but uh that was just epic hook is intact but tarpon just have a really hard mouth and uh sometimes you know sometimes the hook doesn't penetrate right but uh you know if we kept playing them light we might have stood a chance to land that fish but i'm gonna clip this leader off now that i know we have a shot at some tarpon that size and we're gonna just go up about 10 pounds to 50. all right well i really hope we can get another bite like that to have a second chance at possibly landing a giant tarpon like that in the kayak that would just be absolutely insane so to attach my leader i'm using an albright knot i feel like with the pound braid i'm using which is 15 and 50 or 40 pound leader that uh is, is stronger than a unity uni just my personal preference and also my experience of course it's not like i've tested it by like really pulling on like a certain poundage to uh, rate the knots but i've just caught a lot more bigger fish with the albright knot and less uh, knot failures with the albright knot there was another bite i wonder if that was another tarpon it was pretty hard fish on I don't know what this is maybe a small one it's pulling good though whatever it is probably a jack yeah a decent sized jack nice all right well, we officially broke the ice now. Another tarpon. Dang it, dude. Ah. Sweet though, we're, we're like on some hot action now for whatever reason, like these three or four openings here in this old bridge have had a lot of fish concentrated here. Oh man, I just wanna get one of those at least in the kayak or next to the kayak. You know, if a tarpon is, I believe like over 40 inches, which that one probably was, you can't even bring it in the kayak. What is that, another fish? And probably another Jackie. Oh, hey, what is this? Little gag grouper? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not entirely sure. It isn't isn't that just absolutely insane? I go from hooking it like a, a giant tarpon to a jack, then another nice tarpon, and then a cool little grouper just like this. So cool. Maybe we're just getting to the right part of the tide and uh, the fish around this structure are turning on. Oh my gosh, that's probably a big tarpon. Try and penetrate that hook. Oh, maybe it was a grouper. Now it feels like he's in the bottom or something. Feels like it's still on there, whatever it is. Yeah, that was probably another grouper. 
Dang it, dude. Let's see if I can just hold on to him. Or actually, you know what? We'll loosen up on the drag. Maybe he'll swim out on his own. Got him out. Oh my gosh! Holy sh Oh my god! What? We gotta break this off. Oh my god. Whew, all right, holy. Excuse my French, that is, was just insane. What a crazy, sporadic little bite in the last 15 minutes we've been getting onto. A big tarpon, then we got the jack. Uh, like a nicer side, another nice tarpon, then the grouper. And uh, then a freaking shark. I'll have to rewatch the freaking footage to find out what kind of shark that was. Comment down below if you know. I was leaning towards maybe like a bull shark. So we'll have to change our underwear later. But uh, yeah, wow. Um, and I'm probably crazy enough uh, to stay on the spot and we're gonna fish it a little bit longer, see what else we can catch. All right, back in action, new shad, new leader. And uh, it's really ironic that we ran into a shark today come to think of it because last night I had like a sharky thought while I was night fishing for snook and tarpon and throwing my flare hawk jig as far as I could out into the channel and I thought I was like for a billion dollars would I swim across the entire channel at night to the other side and uh, I really st still could not convince myself in any way uh, that that would be worth it I, I basically was certain that especially at night, I would uh, stand a pretty good chance at getting attacked by a shark or hurt in some way. But, uh, oh, there's a fish. Oh, he popped off. Dang, another tarpon. Pretty cool, tarpon are consistently hanging out here. Oh gosh, nice fish, nice fish, I'm gonna play them nice and easy. Please stay hooked baby, please stay hooked. Oh, it's a nice snook. Really nice snook. So that means he might stay hooked. Oh yeah. If it was a tarpon, he would have jumped already. <laughs> and he probably would have threw the hook. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the snooky I've been looking for. It's not too big, but Still a nice fish. Whew. Look at the size of that mouth. Got him right in the corner. Whew. Sweet. All right, here's one last closer look at that fish. And uh, yeah, what a day. Let's get him back. All right, unfortunately, it's been uh, about an hour and a half, two hours now since uh, our last hookup but uh, fortunately we did find that snook got her in the kayak and uh, the tarpon they seem to really dislike this outgoing couldn't buy a bite from what i could see from one of them i uh, did have a couple follows did hook up on something else large could have been a jack it just popped off but uh yeah great day so far it's a little after 2 30 had a lot of fishy action had a near death experience i guess um or just a near uh flipping experience that shark could have easily probably flip this kayak over but the good thing is is I practiced in uh, lakes and ponds how to flip the kayak back over and climb back in 
but uh, that would probably be a lot harder if the shark <laughs> grabbed onto me. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of ways that could have went bad, but uh, I'm kind of happy how it all ended up, and that you know, shark got a, probably a free meal, and um, yeah, we just lost the jig head and, and got the adrenaline kick. But uh, we're gonna start uh, working our way back to the ramp, I think, because uh, yeah, I mean, how can we top already the action that we've already had? And uh, I am hungry, so I'm gonna try and see if we can, wow, it's getting windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, see if we can get a, a keeper snapper, and if we can, then we are going to uh, cook them up on the portable burner and make ourselves a little bit of lunch and then call it a day. All right, well, this looks pretty good right here. A little inlet to this homeowner's like little harbor. And uh, there were a bunch of mangroves behind us but uh, it was so shallow because you know we're like a couple hours into the outgoing. There wasn't really much of anything near the mangroves. The only thing that could have maybe been was some bonefish, but I did look at it and didn't see anything. So, oh, just had a barracuda come out of nowhere and bite it. Found one. Baby little snapper off the end of this dock. Needs to be 10 inches to keep. It's kind of like an obvious structure that you'd know would have fish, especially being that all the mangroves aren't uh, in deep enough water for these snappers to hang out. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, that's a, definitely gonna be a keeper. Oh yeah. Nice snapper right there. a quick little measure this is my foldable cutting board from uh, what's it called toadfish and there's a measuring tape on it hey it's just about 12 inches not bad okay all I need is one for a tasty little lunch so I'm gonna bleed this guy real quick. Then we'll flay him up and we'll beach the kayak and uh, cook him up. All right, kayak is on the beach. I'm excited, I love snapper. <laughs> Can't wait to uh, get that on the pan, but uh, yeah, let's flay him up. And uh, then I've got some seasoning right here just some simple old bay got a little bit of lime which we'll cut up to drizzle over the fish as well and I've got my little propane portable skillet system I've got to set up too so I'm gonna put the camera down and get it going Wow, now does it really get any fresher than that? This fish was literally swimming 10 minutes ago. All right, now we just gotta take the skin off. Beautiful, I'm gonna give them a rinse and then they'll be ready for seasoning. And now for the moment of truth, we are gonna try and cook with this little burner. Hopefully these junky little matches work.
All right, we're lit. I did get really worried for a second there that they weren't gonna get lit and then all this effort would have been for nothing. <laughs> so thank you, fish gods. Oh yeah, we're cooking. Bon appetit. Oh, check that out. Whew. Looking so juicy. Whew. The rewards of a great day fishing out of the water. Mm. I need another piece. I might have forgot to mention, I haven't eaten pretty much anything all day. The granola bars I had in the kayak with me, I didn't even bother opening those up because I was just so fixated on um, catching those fish while they were biting. And uh, that was just such a fun day out on the water. And we got, got ourselves some lunch. I'm gonna have to go back out and uh, get ourselves some dinner. <laughs> hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to uh, stay tuned for the next vid, I am starving. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing some similar stuff moving forward the next like three, four days and then eventually working my way north. Like I've been saying in all my videos by now, you're probably getting nor <laughs> annoyed of me, uh, keep annoyed that I keep mentioning it. But um, yeah, I'm having a blast down here. Hope you guys are having a blast watching these vids. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Uh, to watch that shark footage later and all, all the footage for today. This is gonna be a fun one to edit. So um, these are the kind of days and videos that uh, I love to create for you guys. So it means the world when uh, you guys follow along and subscribe and uh, are just waiting for the next one. Cause you never know what's gonna happen out there on the water. But thanks for watching guys. And like always, live to fish, fish to live. Oh my God, this is so good.